There are so many things to explore in Los Angeles. And if you're into art, then I highly recommend you come down to the Skirball Center and check out Black is Beautiful by Kwame Brathwaite. His photography will leave you mesmerized. And this isn't just photography. It actually stands for a social movement and change that he was bringing about at the age of 18. Black is Beautiful is the first ever major exhibition dedicated to Kwame Brathwaite, a vision that depicts issues of the past which are still relevant today. With what Kwame Brathwaite has done with his, with his work at the time, he offers a perfect avatar for us to be able to look at how he was able to bring his community together around an anthem of positivity and turn on light in a time of just unbridled darkness in the 1960s during segregation for the African-American community. And then also inspire a whole group of people by bringing community together, by hooking in jazz, by hooking in social activism, by hooking in art, and by putting black women forward. Bratwaite's son, who was named after him, helped bring his father's work to the forefront. One of the things that he has always been about was about the liberation of people in the African diaspora and also just being able to be your natural and true self. So it's a, for him it's about the empowerment of being naturally who you are. The photography depicts how a community of people found their voices while struggling to maintain their identity. It was a chance to bring together their African roots with their American heritage while supporting each other. Here Brathwaite talks about the concept of think black, buy black circulate your dollars within the black community. You can support each other, um, which is a concept that is still uh, in the forefront today. It's really important because the issues that my father was facing back when they created the, the movement, Black Lives Matter movement, those issues are still prevalent today. You're still in deal with police brutality, you're still dealing with inequality, you're still dealing with racism, xenophobia, and so I think it's important to have this because Going back sometimes is a good way to kind of look at a template for how to deal with certain issues. And when asked about his personal favorite, Kwame says it's the portrait of his mother. I can say that was also one of my favorites. He also hopes people will leave with this message. Whether you're African American, whether you're, you know, Asian American, whoever you are, bring your whole self, be who you are, and be proud to be who you are naturally. And I think that's the one of the more important messages that I get from this.